What is happening guys, Son of Beast here. Welcome back to another NBA play-in tournaments. The next matchup is about to be Los Angeles Clippers facing on against Minnesota Timberwolves at Target Center. This matchup is in between the 7th seed and the 8th seed. This between the, those guys, one of each teams will be heading on to face against the, the second seed team in the first round of the playoffs. Well, now you already know that it's in between the range. One of them will be spotting in the wild card, battling the eighth seed for the first round of the NBA playoffs. So the starting lineups as occurred, it's Reggie Jackson, Amir Coffey, Nicholas Batum, Marcus Morris Sr., and Ivica Zubox. On the other side is D'Angelo Russell, Patrick Beverly, Anthony Edwards, Jared Vanderbilt, and Carl Anthony Towns. Let's get you right into Minnesota to get started for the next spot to be facing to verse up against the second seed of the team. And the other teams battling for the eighth seed. Enjoy the game, folks. And those are the starting lineups. Two interesting matchups tonight. Stick around. We'll be right back with more. Hi, everyone. Greetings from 2K Sports. Get ready for some NBA action. Hi, everyone. This is Kevin Harlan. Joining us tonight, Greg Anthony and Hall of Famer Doris Burke. And reporting from the sidelines, our very own David Aldridge. DA, take it away. Kevin, thank you very much. We all know Anthony Edwards went first overall in 2020. His teammate Carl Anthony Towns said, I know what all those pressures are like. You're the number one pick. If any other rookies do well, there's a threat to the throne. But with Edwards' confidence in his talent, you get the sense he'll be just fine. Guys? Good point. No pressure, DA. Thank you. Just a quick look now at how the point totals have looked over the last several months for Luke Kanon. Look, sometimes you go up, sometimes down, and, and, and the trend has been on the downward side in terms of his average points per game. And, and a variety of factors can be the culprit. And, and a lot of times you focus on the efficiency more than just pure point output. Here are the starters for Los Angeles. Post tandem form, Morris and Zubac. And there's Jackson, and there's Batum, and it's Coffey in at the shooting guard position. And for the Timberwolves, D'Angelo Russell out there with Patrick Beverly. Then there's Towns, then there's Anthony Edwards, and it's Vanderbilt in at the power forward. And Greg, with over a decade you had in the NBA, is there an opening night that you remember most? Man, that very first time putting on that Knicks jersey. The game was in Orlando. I played 28 minutes, which was a lot for a back then. Bulls ball. Let's get right here. Now, here is Russell. To the paint. They swipe it. Here's Coffee. Heavy coffee. coffee gets it to go. And you want more of this from Jackson. The more unselfish he is, the better the team. Outside, Edwards. Shoots over the two. Edwards can't hit. Russell against Jackson. Six on the shot clock, puts it up from 12, and that one goes long. Down low, here's Towns. Oh, Anthony Towns. Heavy, Vanderbilt. First quarter just over a minute play, and with the length Vanderbilt has, Dorf, he can be a handful, very impactful. Now, here's Zubac. After the miss from Reggie Jackson, shot clock at six. Going inside. He goes Zubac. And, and once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. I think defensively, that is not the way you want to start. Giving up high percentage looks, that doesn't typically end. D'Angelo. Russell. You have the sense 
but D'Angelo Russell likes to play through contact. This is a tough-minded player. Jackson deciding where to go with it. And he banks in the lane. Marcus, Marcus, Marcus Morris Senior. Always hurt. Just not enough effort to block out. No doubt those extra possessions can really add up against you when you do not take care of the defensive glass. Here's Towns. Following the basket. Oh, Anthony Towns. So confident, so assertive. Anthony Edwards. Anthony Towns comfortable in this area. And a little over two and a half minutes gone here in the first. Into the lane. Yep, that one. Marcus was Moore Senior. Who's the pick and going right to the cup? I love the aggressiveness. And the Timberwolves with possession here, trailing by two. Russell from long range. D'Angelo Stoll. Three. against Russell. Right side Jackson, out to the right wing. And it's rebounded by Towns. Listen, if you're that wide open, you have to take the shot, even if it's not your favorite. Beverly, the pass to Vanderbilt. Outside Russell, the Timberwolves working the ball around them. Oh, Anthony Towns. Anthony Edwards. On the night. Clippers trail by three. And the Clippers decide. Time out, LA. Clippers. We know that Anthony Edwards has given numerous head turning quotes, but that's just who he is. That's right. One of the most candid players in the league. Caught some media off guard when he said he saw himself as a football player. But this guy's got big time personality. some changes. Naz Reed is checked in for Towns. And it's Malik Beasley in for Patrick Beverly. Pass to Mann. Pass to Hartenstein. He dishes it to Covington. And out of bounds. Out of bounds. Timberwolves ball. With a break in the action, we go to the 2K leaderboard to see the teams that excelled at slowing the pace down a campaign ago. Fourth, the Clippers. I mean, they held opponents to so few points that it allowed them to win games even when their offense wasn't Two good. minutes to play in the first period. Oh, here's Edwards. He's still scoreless so far in this one. To the left wing. Russell kicks to Beasley. Back to Russell. D'Angelo Russell. Three. Michael Beasley. Here's Mann. He's guarded by Russell. Shot to stop the run. And that one is stuck right through. That's a great Thanks, show. Read the defender off and let him elevate. All right, and what the timing ideal? My goodness, the D with no chance to react. And the execution was something flawless. That, ladies and gentlemen, is how you run that play. Back to Reed. Has to be Lock at six. Good for the Michael Beasley. One for one with that shot. There's Reed. There's 45 seconds left in the first quarter of the game, and he uses the glass on the way. Gary Ray Jr. Breakdown there, no doubt about it. I mean, he's a guy you have to be focused on defensively. The pass to Reed. And he comes up with the deuce. No. Reed. 
Mike will be asleep. 32 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Offered by Beasley. No dice, right beat out. And Beasley has the ball here for the Minnesota Timberwolves. Six point game. Inside. And the Anthony Edwards. Beasley's got the assist. Michael Beasley. This has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. It's coming by Edwards. He got it up. Doesn't go for him. D'Angelo Russell getting it done for the first quarter. quarter. He They're all 20. The quarter. And LA like Clippers 12. Down this right back after this break. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown so far for Minnesota. Really some great drives to the basket here early on for these guys. Well, they've established their presence in the paint tonight also. And a lot of their scoring coming from down low so far. Clippers trail by eight. And now brought to you by Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset our lineups. And the Clippers, looking at who they've got. They've got Hartenstein. Look at the guard out there in front of Covington. Yeah, and it's Argan's side. Position. Strong move to the 10, trying to get his guys going. Hard not to get motivated, GA, right when your teammate makes that kind of play. Where was the defense? No help. You can't afford to give up these kinds of buckets. A Kobe misses. The Clippers shooting the ball really well in this game, 58%. Passes it to man. Oh, Covington in position. And Out of bounds. Timberwolves ball. Here's where the Timberwolves have lined up on their schedule. On Monday, they head out on the road and face the Mavericks in Dallas. Then on Wednesday, they'll go up against Devin Booker and the Phoenix Suns. Timberwolves lead by six. And at 6-7 with a 7-2 week span, Robert Covington great comfortable guarding power forwards. Well, he's accustomed to it. In high school, he was the same height, but only weighed 170 pounds. Even then, his coach said he was weak, but he wasn't soft. Now, here's Kanon. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Reed with the clock, and he gets it back, and they'll keep possession. Outside, Russell hits it. Angel Russell! Three! Assist like that have typified their effort. Jack Koji! I'm up! L.A. Clippers. Teams around the league trying to integrate star veterans with talented rookies. Greg, it's not always easy, is it? Not at all, Kevin. A lot of times, if you have to make a choice between win now or win later, though the teams with great coaching and development can oftentimes do both. Just in between a uh, team comparison, 23 points for Timberwolves, turning out to be a hot start. Four rebounds, their seven rebounds, and they got two blocks for the Timberwolves, one steal, one turnover. Three turnovers on LAC. Mm, they got to try to figure something out, but we will have to see if they can try to fix up another one. Let's get back into the game. Anthony Towns jumped in for the Timberwolves. Patrick Beverly comes in for D'Angelo Russell. And we're a little over a minute and a half into the second quarter of action. It's good. Marcus Morris, senior. Most guys is a capable scorer from the interior. Marcus Morris adept at using that size and touch to his advantage. Pass to Beverly. The pass to McDaniels. To a Kobe. Now here's McDaniel. It's oh, Anthony Towns. Back up to nine now for the Timberwolves. 
I hear this guy reads situations so well. Yeah, Mick Daniels. Here's Zubats and the Domingo Zubats. Sometimes a player is born with a passer's mindset. He deals it with conviction. Beasley left side. And at the top of the key, Towns. Beasley in the post. Zubats defending. Kicks it out to Beasley. Pass through a Kogi. Here's McDaniels. Shoots over the two. And it's wide right. It's off the rim. I think this is a spot he has got to become more consistent from. If you want to command the defender's respect. Oh, it's a huge straight point. They give it up in the paint. And here's Beverly. He brings it up for Minnesota. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Olin. Thank you, Kevin. Well, mid-range jumpers are something of a lost heart these days. Coach Ty Lee said, why not work for the shots that teams are giving up? Down the stretch, mid-range shots win games. Playoffs too. If you shoot it at a high clip, it's just as good as a three for me. Guys? And they do shoot at a good clip, and they rely on it quite a bit. David, thank you. Down to five on the shot clock. And three off the mark. Definitely a situation you want to make sure you don't give him that good of a look. And the officials call for a three second. Peace air violation. Looking now at the numbers. LA ball. How he performed last season. Last year averaged 10 points per game, three assists, and three rebounds. I mean, the numbers aren't bad on their own, but, but he knows that he can help this team in a bigger way. And sometimes it comes down to the flow of the offense. One night at your night. Two minutes night, remaining in this second else. period of the first half. Now, here's Zubox. Back to Jackson. Here's Coffee. Over by Beasley. Front past the arc. Coffee can't get it to go. Timberwolves leading by five. Easily outside. Towns high post. Back to Beasley. Nice ball movement by Minnesota. And it's Towns missing. Clippers trail by five. Doris, you look at Marcus Morris, a very solid three in deep type of forward. That's exactly right, because think about it, Morris, early in his career, there was a reluctance to shoot the range shot. He was more a mid-range guy, but credit him for putting in the work. Now Marcus is a deadly three-point shooter, and he brings a size and physicality on the defensive end. Up top two months. Pass to Jackson. Stolen by the Daniels. Right, Minnesota Towns with the ball. And the shot. Oh, Anthony Towns. Well, this guy's flat out carrying the load for them offensively. He is taking and making good shots. What a terrific shot. Patrick Beverly. Towns against the Bucks. Rebounded by the Timberwolves. Towns has got his fourth move out with that last one here tonight. And there's the pass to Beverly. Passes it through a Kogi. Easily outside. That'll do it for the first half. Timberwolves lead by seven. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, Carl. Impressive start for you. What's the mentality going into a game like this? Uh, just being aggressive. Uh, really played like, really played well at all the first half myself. We're missing all of us are missing a lot of easy money. We're missing layups for us as pros. So, uh, second half when we make those layups, uh, it should be fun. Let's see if you stick to the script. Thanks very much, man. Back to you. Okay, David, much appreciated, and now time for halftime, so we'll be back in just a bit to get the third quarter underway. Recap time. It's Minnesota. Let's take a look. They've got the seven-point lead. How about you, Shaq? What do you think about Minnesota? 
difference so far has been the efficiency of their offense. The ball movement is really good. As a matter of fact, you get the whole shot clock that they have to. Overall, they make it every position. Hey, Kenny, let's get your thoughts on the Clippers. One is never fun. On fire. This team was on fire. They showed effort on defense. But it did back. They couldn't get the stops. I don't think the opponent can sustain this kind of shoot. And that should do it. With the second half about to begin, let's send you back to Kevin Harlan. Go back right now. To Kevin Harlan. Go back to the game. Go over there. See you later. And we hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. We're halfway through the game. You look at D'Angelo Russell. What a contribution. He's done a fantastic job of finding open space to operate within the first few quarters. Well, one of the things every player is after is efficiency at the offensive end. And boy, this young guy has done just that. We played through the first half. Plenty of basketball, though, left in this one. Clippers trail by seven. We've got Patrick Beverly. He's out there with Russell. Towns is out there with Edwards. And it's Vanderbilt in at the four slot. So that's the lineup for Minnesota. Now here's Jackson. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. And it's blocked. Oh, <laughs> ball. Barely six feet. Send it back, young Patrick. And now let's revisit that exceptional mobile one block. And big defensive plays like that will help them stay in control of this one. Six to shoot. Here's Jackson. Uh, to me, that's about the length and strength of upper body by Carl Anthony Towns. He's just destroying people with his defense. Here's Russell with the three. Angelo Russell. Three. Carl Anthony Towns. And right now, Greg, he is doing a great job delivering for this team, productive and efficient. Here's Coffee. Vanderbilt with the block. Well, I guarantee you, this is not what they talked about in the locker room. 0 for 3 and looking lost. Tries again. And Towns. Oh, Anthony Towns. We know a 12 point Timberwolves lead. Well, there's some willingness to mix it up on the glass, and that's a big plus for Carl Anthony Towns. Loose. But two against Edwards. To the inside. Zubac, Sebastian Jackson. The two for three. He gets rebounded by Towns. Towns is got three down the break now on the night. Russell looking it over. And he drives in. D'Angelo Russell. That's 86%. Boy, everyone is getting to their spots. Time out, L.A. Clippers. And the Clippers call time here. You look at D'Angelo Russell. What a contribution. He's killing it from deep. They, they got to be all up in his jersey at all times. Give him even an inch. And you're just asking for him to drop another triple. A little different between a team comparison right there. We've got something out here. One steal, two steals for Timberwolves. Only four blocks for Timberwolves. Four turnovers increasing up again. They gotta stop what they're doing. And only two turnovers here on Minnesota. 11 rebounds for Clippers and 13 for the Timberwolves. Five for Clippers and 12 for Timberwolves. We might be sharing things going on right now, but we might be slowing things down Let's keep the tempo on, on patient so we can try to like focus it on the uh, on the better situation. Let's get back on the court, but there's a lot of great effort out there. They're looking to destroy the Clippers. Minnesota making some changes. Reed comes in for Colonel Anthony Towns, and it sprints in for Patrick Beverly. And we're just around two minutes into the final half of Luke Kennard. The Timberwolves lead has been cut down to 12 on the bucket from Kennard. And 
Avalanche. Russell with the ball. He'll bring it up for Minnesota. They've only allowed two points. So Tyree. Fritz. Guarded by Russell. Drives to the hoop. Plus, they're rattling two handed jam. Terry Smith. I'll bet even they didn't think the pick would work that well. No, no, no. And they get the major league dunk out of it, too. Even my question is where was the help? Someone rotate over and challenge. Here's Prince. After the Clippers pick up two. All good from outside. Prince against Kinnard. Count that one. The hey, man. Down now to just 10 on the basket for man. You know, one thing that has stood out tonight is his scoring. They have to attack him even when they've been trailing. Kennard entered the league with a long history of success, both in high school and collegiate levels. And this is a guy who I think still has a high ceiling. Now here's Prince. Dari Prince. Three. D'Angelo Russell. Here we style number 11, Noel Reed, his first first team foul. He's shooting two for Clippers, Eric Uber Jr. outscored LeBron James' high school numbers. He has that kind of game where he can just take over with his shooting. Minnesota looking for a chance to make the playoffs for this season. If they win in the wild card, to face uh, if they win, then they might be going to take it over and try to push things up. They're looking for a chance to make the seventh seed in the game. Both shots good from the strike. An efficient night from the line. This is a guy who puts in the work and it pays dividends. On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Paul George has taken some heat in recent years. He says people get so caught up in what other folks think. I'm Paul George. I don't care to be anybody else. I am who I am. You love it or you don't. Simple as that. Guys with his play on the floor, he has answered all of his critics. He's certainly playing at an elite level. EA, thank you. Now, here is Russell. He's got 16. Two minutes remaining in the third. Here's the try. D'Angelo Russell. A scorching 88%. Boy, the speed of Russell can take you aback. This guy's so good at using it to take the defense apart on the drive. Here's Mann. Six points for him. Here's Kennard. An easy two points Luke on the line. Timberwolves leading by 11. Outside Russell. Yeah, has to Vanderbilt. Trying his work from deep. He gets hauled in by Los Angeles. That'll be the last game of their very short three game road tour. Here's Mann. To the middle. Here's Hartenstein. Second shot opportunity. Goes up again. He lays it in. As a, as a uh, hardened stock. Back down to a single digit deficit for the Clippers. Now, here is Russell. He's guarding closer. Covington with the steal. Here's Mann. They get it back. And foul on the shot. Minnesota Timberwolves foul number 11, Noel Reed. His second, second team foul. Shooting two for Los Angeles. Number 23, Robert Covington.
and the first one at the line is good. And it's a now it's changing for a substitution for Minnesota Timberwolves, number 32, Carl Anthony Towns. Number three, 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 John McDaniels. And both free throws good for Covington. There's 39 seconds left in the third. Jackson against Beverly, over to the wing. Towns kicks to Beverly. Towns down low, Covington's there. Towns. Oh, Anthony Towns. Jack, Meek Daniels. Defended by Towns. Covington, and they have their chances, two offensive rebounds, but they still come up empty. And that one at least in time. That's the end of the first quarter, Minnesota Timberwolves 43, and LA Clippers 34. Their shooting has been the big key, their percentage from the field so far has been terrific. Don't go anywhere, we'll be right back. Four quarters coming up next, stay for our system of game, we'll be coming up after the intermission. And a quick look now at the State Farm assist of the game. And the winner today, the big fella here with the sweetest of dimes. What a plus it is to have a post player who's got this ability to find. So we have some elite passing big men in the NBA, and you love that skill. Wow. And this is it. Glad to have you along for this fourth and final quarter. Timberwolves leading by nine. And on the floor for the Clippers here in the fourth. The two is out there with Marcus Morris. And it's Robert Covington. And there's Jackson. And it's Coffee at the two. He gets it. Oh, it many times. The fourth quarter here for the Timberwolves. Well, pure dominance from Carl Anthony Towns. This guy is a go to legit scorer with multiple weapons. Everly against Jackson. Back to Beverly. Patrick Beverly. And a closer look here with the Hustle stance for the Timberwolves. The activity level defensively, I've really been impressed with. They've been an attack mode on the defensive. And you also have to give credit to them for their shot clock, and they had a ton of rejections in this ballgame. Carl Anthony Towns with the rebound. And it's Towns with the ball. He'll bring it up for Minnesota. Beverly deciding where to go with him. Oh, if any Towns. Patrick Beverly. Getting the ball inside. Jackson passes to Covington. To the inside. That's good off the glass. Marcus Morris Sr. Marcus Morris has the physicality and the frame to be able to be a force on the offensive glass. That's nicely done. Inside Towns. Back to Beverly. Nice ball movement by Minnesota. Shot by McDaniels. No good. Not his best game, but they're still getting it done. Collected. Here's Jackson. Jackson. Reggie Jackson. Quick first step. Jackson remains a threat to drive on any defender. Covington against Towns. And the Timberwolves call time. Every time out. Timberwolves. Your lineups, matchups, or call of play. And the guys get a little bit of a break. Mentally, physically, just recharge here quickly. A little hydration out there. Might need to re rehydrate it even more and then also change things on offense so we can try to fix things up a little bit. So as you can see right now, the different comparison in between, it's only five turnovers on LA Clippers, three turnovers on Minnesota, but nothing as compared yet. Two steals for the Clippers, seven assists here for the Clippers, and 18 amazing run of the score for Minnesota. But there may not be a lot of them that we were looking for, 
for the free throw percentage in between those teams. Only 100% for Clippers, but no foul called for the Clippers and didn't send the players for the Timberwolves to the free throw line. We might have to find out what will it be. And some changes here for the Timberwolves. Edwards, he's checked in for McDaniel. And it's Russell in for Malik Beasley. And the Clippers making a change here as well. Zubats has checked in. Let's go down to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Hey guys, here's what Chris Finch from Oh, Koji! Oh, 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 but he told us guys, things could turn in a blink. What we need to do is execute the rest of the way. So we'll see if they can finish this one off, Kevin. Bring it, Jackson. And good to see Jackson finish closer in. Not a guard who just chucks up threes. He can find the creases with that handle. Here's a Kogi. Here's Towns. And he calls oh, Anthony Towns. Points in just the second half. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart. Time out, LA Clippers. Los Angeles calls timeout. You look at Towns, he's really been playing well. And he's been taking it to the rack all game, and they haven't been able to contain him. And they have to put up a better fight on the inside. You can see right now, we see the last game. As for some of you, may have been expecting that. Lakers are putting up an upset already, and that means that the Pelicans are moving into the wild card. So the losing team could be this one to be true. But it may not be enough to try to fix things up a little bit. If it's Clippers or the Timberwolves, right now it looks like you're in a sixth seed to try to fix things up a little bit. Hmm. A little bit interesting, but not really too much to be quite authentic out there. But maybe it may be too much to think of it possible. So as you may have all known, it just really happens again. I didn't really see that play since it was something going in come quite a lot. Not too much happening. Man, he comes in from the Clippers. And here are the Clippers now. Trailing by 13. Batum finds Jackson. Looks one up. Counted. Bringing Jackson. Jackson. Six points in the quarter. Not an easy basket for Jackson. He doesn't shoot a really high percentage, but he does make a lot of tough leaps. Now, here is Russell. Pass to Beverly. Shoots the three. That shot, no good. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. Shoots from 14. A rebound by the Timberwolves. Towns has got 11 rebounds in the game. Towns is doubled. Played just over three and a half minutes now in the fourth quarter. Russell dishes to Towns. Find the shoot. Russell, no good. Listen, he knows he should have made that shot. We'll see if they can work it back to him in that same area. Good on the shot. And that's Morris. Yes. And that's now 10 points Terrence for Morris. Morris. And then that assist. Got Two minutes remaining in the second half. After that. Picks for Russell. Timberwolves passing it around. A Kobe to pass for Russell. Over by two. And the shot is long. Clippers trail by nine. Here's the pass to Jackson. Passes to the two. Lots of room. Rebounded by the Timberwolves. The biggest lead of the game. 15 points. Edwards looking it over. Here's Russell. And that D'Angelo Russell.
was like watching hard shooting times after that heat. And, and they just didn't seem to let up whether the last several shots went down or not. Three after three. It, it just seemed to pay off for them. And it'll go down as their first official win of the new year. And when you look back at this one, what an amazing performance this was for Carl Anthony Towns. Efficient productivity. You love what this guy has given to you on the offensive end. Now it Following the miss by Marcus Morris from deep. And they turn over the 24-second buzzer, signaling the shot clock violation. Last change up here for those two teams. Don't worry about it for real. It won't happen. Yeah, too hard to shine. The the end, hard inside. You have to love the ball distribution. Keep everyone involved. Here's Noel. Prince, the pass to Noel. And, so it's the and your final score over tonight's game. Minnesota Timberwolves 58 and LA Clippers 46. Solid performance, uh, particularly here at home. Uh, I think they built off that edge of being here and, and playing with just a little more confidence than their opponent. And now we'll go to David Aldrich, who's standing by with our player of the game. Take it away, David. Thank you, Kevin. With Carl Anthony Towns, you look so calm on the block. What has that focus been like for you? Just being patient, uh, waiting for my shot to come, not really forcing anything, but also being aggressive. And you do both very well. Thanks, Kat. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Doris Burke, David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and the rest of our terrific 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time. Let's time to check out the three stars players of the game. Starting off with number three, all those three players of Timberwolves did a fantastic job already, but one turned out to be more Marcus Moore Sr. Their third star, 10 points, five rebounds, and just a steal. It didn't really help at all. Nothing to say about him, but that's all there is. Number two star, we go right in towards here. Carl Anthony Towns, the best New Balance player of the game that will be here on the post game. 20 points, unbelievable. 11 rebounds, that was just a crazy, crazy play that he definitely had amazing offense to help them out. And three assists, that was even just a phenomenal per performance. Awesome run. And a first star, well, it's a tie. D'Angelo Russell, that will be 20 points, 2 rebounds, and 2 assists for this game. Only 2 turnovers has been flowing off the angle a bit, but we'll have to be a little bit more careful to try to work our way run. So that's going to end the game here, and with the winning team moving on to face against the number 2 seed, Clippers of the losing 8th seed will have to face against the 10th seed, of the game against the Clippers. The Clippers and the Pelicans. That will be two of them that will be playing in the wild card. But sticking up here for the next time, stick up with us for the next for next game here back at Eastern Conference. It will be the the trouble again making back from season four, Nets and the Raptors. This will be a tough there start start since they have played it since season four for one of the biggest earliest of this upsetting games and that was their team Raptors that really knocked things out of here. Without that we'd like to thank you all for watching. Peace out everyone for as a while as the NBA 2K22 dial and a play in tournament dial. See you all next time for the last game of Brooklyn and Toronto starting on Saturday on Son of Beasts. Make sure to subscribe to my channel because if you don't, somebody will. Thanks for joining us. See you all next time.